What is going on everybody? My name is Ian aka Iron Sculpts and I am a digital sculptor for the toy industry and I've been using ZBrush for about five to six years now and what I want to do today is show you one of the new features Stager in conjunction with Dynamesh when posing a model or parts of your model. So let's go ahead and get into that process. So today what we got here is a hand that I'm trying to pose to the sword of this sculpt that's a work in progress. And what you can notice first things first is that I broke up my hand into different poly groups. And the reason why I did that is because I actually want to pose using Dynamesh. And I find that a lot of times when you are posing, you're going to have to break your model anyway. So you might as well kind of break it with a controlled method. So that's where this part comes in. You might be familiar with this process. And if you are, this might help you out. So with that, I have everything broken into the poly groups. And if we were to go to geometry and Dynamesh, because Dynamesh is viewport dependent, a lot of times if I want to keep a low resolution, let's say 64 or 48, and I were to hit Dynamesh, you could see here that based on the size of my model within the viewport, it is just not a good resolution. So I'd actually have to crank the slider like really far up to Dynamesh it to get a decent resolution, again, based on that viewport. So we have 2,906 Oh, I can't even speak, 2,936 resolution. And that's only resulted in me at like 98 polys for this hand. That's just not good enough. So let's go ahead and use Stager with this myth. So I'm going to back this up. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Geometry and Stager. And we're going to hit the Home Stage. So what this will do, if you're unfamiliar with it, is Home Stage will remember one location. And then a Target Stage will remember a different location. And that will also take scale into account. So home st stage will be like, oh, this hand could be super small. And target stage, this hand could be super big. You might know where I'm going with this. So I'm actually going to zoom all the way out because I've set the home stage. I'm going to turn on my gizmo by hitting W on the keyboard and recentering that. And then I'm going to go ahead and scale this up. A ridiculous amount to you, by the way. But, you know, let's just go with it. <laughs> so now that we have our hand scaled up pretty far, I'm going to go ahead and say that's my target. So now I can switch back and forth between the hands that's on the sword. And I can switch between this massive hand here that's there. What this will allow me to do is now Dynamesh at a lower resolution, but yet keep the density that I need for this model to be workable. So I'm going to go ahead now and we're going to go to Dynamesh. I'm going to turn on groups because I broke up my hand into different groups because those are the sections that I'm going to want to manipulate. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn the resolution down to 64. And when I hit Dynamesh, now we're looking at a model with a 64 resolution. That's actually 623,000 polys for this hand size. So now what I can do is go back to Stager, switch to Stage, and zoom all the way in by hitting F on the keyboard. And now if you take a look at this, I can start posing my model. So from here, I can go ahead and select the different poly groups that I want to pose. Mass off that section, turn on the gizmo, hold alt on the keyboard and touch right where I want that gizmo to be. Kind of place that gizmo somewhere in the middle. And now I'm going to go ahead and start masking those sections off. I'm going to grab this piece here, bring this in, and you can see I could start manipulating this the way I want it to. And we can get something like that. And now just remember, there is one little tidbit that I would like to cover is that a lot of times with Dynamesh, when we hit control swipe, it re-Dynameshes our model. That's the only downside to this method. So we want to make sure that what we do is we switch back to home stage and re-Dynamesh our model and then from there switch back. So now we can go ahead and have our model right where we need it to be here. So hopefully you guys found this trick a little helpful. It's a neat way to not have to worry about the overall scale of your model. You could just start placing assets and then dynameshing each individual piece as you need as you start your pose process. Anyway, guys, that is it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your summit.